and welcome back to my channel. I just went to the Australian premiere of The Little Mermaid and I absolutely loved it. This is a top tier Disney live action remake following in the footsteps of Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin. I know a lot of people have been concerned about the CGI in this movie but you have nothing to worry about. I was totally immersed in the underwater world and never once thought it looked fake. It is definitely not a shot for shot remake and has a lot of new moments and scenes. The new interpretation of the storm at sea I really loved. You really get to see why Eric is such a great guy in this scene, being a real hero saving his crew and his dog Max. Errol also helps save Max without anybody noticing and it is one of my favourite moments in the film. There is also a completely new version of Ariel exploring the kingdom with Prince Eric. They go to a vibrant Caribbean marketplace and dance with the locals. Jodie Benson also has her cameo in this scene and it is absolutely perfect. Halle Bailey is an absolute star. She captures the essence of Ariel while still making the character her own. She has the strongest voice out of all of the Disney princesses and I love how they made her siren song an important plot point of the story. She also does a great job at physically portraying a mermaid, looking like a professional synchronized swimmer moving through the ocean. I also really liked Jonah Howard King as Eric, and he definitely isn't getting enough credit. His song Wild Uncharted Waters was beautiful, and I fell in love with his kind, empathetic, and adventurous character. They actually added that his character was adopted by the king and queen, so he feels out of place just like Ariel. The chemistry between Hallie and Jonah is electric and I really bought their emotional connection. The fact that Ariel can't remember she needs to kiss the prince to remain human makes their romance more natural and organic. I think everyone will be shocked at how amazing Melissa McCarthy is as Ursula. Not only was she hilarious and terrifying, but her singing of Poor Unfortunate Souls was perfect, like she had been singing all her life. Special mention to Jessica Alexander as Ursula's human form Vanessa. She had a tough job having to mime both Halle Bailey and Melissa McCarthy's voices and she did such a great job. Sebastian Scuttle and Flounder were major comedic highlights in the movie and I actually really liked their character design unlike a lot of people on the internet. Devine Diggs was so funny as Sebastian and made me laugh so many times. He did a great job of singing Under the Sea but Kiss the Girl was my favourite number from him because Sebastian getting an Eric's ear was hilarious. However, I just want to warn everyone that he is no longer the court composer. This means that Under the Sea doesn't feature the sea creatures playing musical instruments. I am a massive fan of Aquafina and her scuttle did not disappoint. Her dynamic with Sebastian was strong and when the two were on screen I couldn't stop laughing. I really enjoyed her song as well. It's very Lin Manuel Miranda in style and I think fans of Hamilton will really enjoy it. Flounder doesn't have as big a role as Ariel's other two friends because he has to remain in the water but he is extremely cute and likeable in all of his scenes. Javier Bardem tackles some of the most emotional parts of the movie and he had most of the audience at my screening in tears. The love and protectiveness he feels towards his daughter really comes through. Even though I really loved the film, there are a couple of negatives. Firstly, Ariel does not have enough costumes. She is on land for three days and she wears her blue dress every single day. I really would have loved a ball gown from Ariel either in pink or teal. Secondly, there is a reference to the British royal family while Eric is trying to guess Ariel's name. He asks if her name is Diana and Ariel shakes her head and then she guesses Catherine and Ariel makes a face disgusted by the suggestion. I don't think it was necessary to hate on Kate Middleton as she really hasn't done anything worthy of this and it took me out of the movie. Thirdly, Ariel's sisters do not get enough screen time. They are featured a lot in the merchandise but they are barely in the movie. I barely noticed Simone Ashley and I was really looking forward to seeing her. Overall, I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. It is a crowd pleaser and I would recommend everyone go see it in theatres. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.